So separates with OCD, if you have this, you're trying to be 100% certain in a particular area, and there's a reason for that. There's a part of the brain that actually responds to uncertainty. Now, everybody doesn't like uncertainty, and evolutionarily speaking, this makes perfect sense. You know, primitive man's in the jungle, here's a noise, it's good if he checks to see what it is. Another thing that everybody's brain does is that when we complete something, we get a feeling of satisfaction. Again, you don't build all this, have all this technological stuff if people didn't want to complete things. When you have OCD and it's biologically active, the threshold for those is less, meaning it takes less uncertainty for you to feel more anxious and you don't get the completion feeling when you do something, which drives you absolutely crazy. That's why you're able to wash your hands over and over and you know they're clean, but you don't know they're clean. Because logically, you actually know they're clean, but in an emotional way, you're not getting the feeling. And this is the major problem with OCD, trying to be 100% certain. Now, you know that if you have OCD, you are not concerned about every uncertainty. You know, again, if I ask you if your spouse is alive, if that's not your form of OCD, you say yes, and you feel perfectly comfortable. So what happens is sometime in your history, you, you have a particular problem. It either hits suddenly or gradually. Like you see something really disgusting and you feel like you need to wash your hands or you're just sitting and watching a movie and somebody gets killed and like, you know, I don't want to kill somebody or how do I know I don't want to kill somebody? And you do what everyone else does. You know, everybody has sometimes rechecked the clock to see if it's, you know, if the alarm is on. Everybody has maybe seen something really disgusting and if they're in a location to wash their hands, they've washed their hands. And if you don't have OCD, perfectly fine. But if you have OCD, if it's biologically active at that moment, now you're in trouble because you're trying to become certain and that is the part of the brain that is not working. Literally, there's a place where the signal goes and normally it's let out and it gets sent back to be reprocessed and you experience this as uncertainty. So OCD has two components, a learned component and this biological component. The biological component is just what I described. It is that simple. But the thing is that taking meds is really useful, but it doesn't touch learning. So meds alone, you know, 25 to 50% of the symptoms might be gone. And for many people, that's better than nothing, but it doesn't really get rid of the problem. So we do this other process where we're going to help people learn to confront their problems and live with the uncertainty of what's happening.